Good morning, everyone. I'm Heather Vitale, and welcome back to Post Time. The Hap Hansen Progress Pace, that's Dover's signature event, takes place on Thursday, November 29th. Let's get some information and find out who to expect in this big event. And the best way to do that is by checking out this 10 horse field elimination. Two of these three year old pacers will be eliminated while the top eight will return for the rich final this coming week at our 5 8 mile oval. And you'll probably recognize several of these stars since they also made an appearance in the matron stake as well. There off there goes Jimmy Freight out for the lead. Also moving out, that's Think Big, Dream Big toward the inside. Moving up is done well. Moving up between horses now is Dosadoro Hanover. They race into the turn. There goes Think Big, Dream Big up to get the lead. Jimmy Freight dropping right in there, Dosadoro Hanover. Done well, got away fourth, racing fifth. Schnitz will do something, then comes I'm a big deal. After that, this is the plan. Quarter time was 26 and one fifth. They raced by the sands. The leader is Think Big, Dream Big. Sitting in second, Jimmy Freight, followed by Dorsa Doro Hanover. And then comes Dunwell to the outside. Schnitzel do something. Two and a half lengths to I'm a Big Deal, followed by This is the Plan. Then it's Heavenly Sound. Ideal flipping at the end, ideal filling. They race over toward the half. And the leader is Think Big, Dream Big, racing on the outside, Dorsa Doro Hanover. Jimmy Freight's got the rail second over. Stitz will do something down toward the inside is done well. Falling outside third over, this is the plan, 54 and 4 fifths. Field races up the back stretch with Think Big, Dream Big having the lead. Coming right up alongside Dorsa Dora Hanover. Jimmy Freight with the rail. Stitz will do something up in the fourth with the rail fifth. That's done well alongside is this is the plan. Field races by three quarters and one twenty-two and two fifths in their midway on the final turn. Dorset Duro had to run the outside up to get the lead off the rail. Jimmy Freight dropping back just a bit now is Think Big, Dream Big, and they're at the top of the stretch turning for home. Dorset Duro Hanover. Jimmy Freight races up on the outside. They come off the turn. Here comes Jimmy Freight on the outside. After Dorset Duro Hanover, Jimmy Freight from the outside. Jimmy Freight, Jimmy Freight in front. Dorset Duro Hanover and this is the plan, 149 and 2. Jimmy Freight gets up in the last step to win the Hap Hansen Progress Pace Elimination in 149 and 2. Owned by Adriano Sorella, the sophomore pacer was five lengths off the leader in the stretch and came home in 26 and 4 to score the win for trainer Andrew Harris with Scott Ziron in the driver's seat. I thought this trip was kind of interesting. I mean, usually you get a two-hole trip, and you're coming down the passing lane. So tell me about that, uh, how the race unfolded. Yeah, it was just, you know, he's got so much gate speed that I wanted to utilize that. And at the same time, top eight make the final, and I don't want to go to the well on it again like we did last week. So it was just a matter of positioning, hoping to stay in that two-hole trip. I was worried Kakeli wouldn't pre-move and put me third. But uh, obviously when I was able to slip to the outside, it was, you know, glorious. You mentioned last week that horse raced his eyeballs out. He was so good, I thought. Um, it really shows a sign of a really good horse when they can go back to back impressively. Yeah, for sure. And you know, last week, as much as we may have finished third, he come 27 flat, 49 and one, and he did all the work. So you know, it was it was impressive in defeat. And today, I was just looking to you know make sure I got him a trip. And at the same time, it's a learning experience for me because I've only driven him the one time, twice now. So. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great tonight. So when he left and got a two-hole trip, you had to have been feeling pretty confident. I was, because I didn't want to be cut that two weeks in a row. So for him to get the two-hole, now when he slipped to the outside, I was very confident. He never pulled the plugs on him, said he never asked him, said he finished right in the grips. I'm thrilled. He raced super last week. I mean, he's just a really good horse. So is there a way that you train him special just to keep him, you, you know, in tip-top shape? You just don't have to train him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. He, he doesn't need no work. He's like a thoroughbred, you know, he's fine just jogging. Talk about his owner a little bit. I know that uh, Adriano absolutely adores this horse, talks about him on yes. social media all the time. Yes, probably the best horse that he's had. He had Vegas Vacation too, but between these two, those are the best horses he's had. And uh, just uh, he took the risk buying this horse and it, it really panned out. Next week, the final, you obviously are feeling really good about the final, right? Yeah, he's, he's coming out of a two good starts, and he keeps good form. He doesn't get worked up. He's not really blown, so I'm, I'm thrilled coming in next week. Thank you so much. Congrats. Thanks,